okay so before proceeding in numpy you will have to first download jupyter notebook so jupyter notebook is a platform or a software uh, where you write machine learning related codes uh, ye basically anaconda software ke andar aata hai so what you have to do is first of all you have to download anaconda so go to google and type anaconda download this link will pop up click on it and as you can see it's written the world's most popular python r data science platform so anaconda is basically a collection of packages that are required uh, for uh, machine learning and data science theek hai so ek bar tum thoda iska website ko explore karoge to you'll understand ki kya kya packages tumhare paas aate hain under uh, anaconda so these are the various tools and platforms that you get along with anaconda so there is jupiter spider numpy scipy pandas tensorflow you can see scikit learn matplotlib so these are all famous libraries that you would require on your journey of data science theek hai so let's quickly download this software so um, please make sure when you download just don't download it for mac if you are on a windows machine kyunki by default ye aapko mac os ka installer deta hai you have to click on this windows wala button and now you are getting the windows installer and obviously we'll go for the 3.7 version theek hai if your machine is a 64 bit machine click on this otherwise on this or you can click on this download button as well so it's a big software it's around 486 mbs theek hai so uh, it might take some time but download it once download it uh, it will be like this uh, after the download and after that the process is very simple you have to just double click and install the software so it's a very straightforward process it's just just to click next agree next and it will choose a location next uh, in my case the software is already installed so that's why it's Uh, showing me this warning that this particular location is not empty so i'll just uh, cancel it and i'll just pause the video meanwhile you can install it okay okay so now that you have installed anaconda what you have to do is you have to go to your search menu and you have to type anaconda and you'll get this option anaconda prompt it's basically the command prompt for anaconda hit enter and a command prompt like window will appear over here you you will have to type jupiter space notebook and hit enter and what this will do is it will open jupiter notebook in your default browser like in my case it's google chrome so soon enough you'll see a uh, tab open in my chrome so here it is uh so by default it will show you this page and this page is nothing but a directory on your machine on your laptop so you can see these are the various folders present in that location what you have to do is you have to go to this new option and you have to create a new folder and you will see nothing happens but what you have to do is you have to scroll down and over here you will see an untitled folder has been created so you'll click or rather check it go on top and rename this folder to numpy like this hit rename and the folder has been renamed so here is the folder now click on this folder and you will be inside the folder and you can see the notebook list is empty so currently we have no jupyter notebooks the next thing that you would do is you'll click on new python 3 and this will again open a new tab in your browser so this thing on your screen is known as jupyter notebook it's a pretty powerful software will uh, do a bit more about jupyter notebooks in a separate video but right now you can understand that these things are called cells and over here you write python code so let me just show you if you write print hello world and you press shift enter 
you'll see the output okay so it's a pretty straightforward software to use not very difficult okay and you can just go and explore the software so that you can get some idea what we'll do is we'll do the entire numpy series on this software only okay so please make sure you install this one thanks for watching